So Andreas Russo here, and uh, these are my, it's the end of 2022, and these are my achievements for this year, 2022. So, achievement number one, number one, finished the project, the heavy refurbishment project of 19 Clifford Road. As usual, I get myself into nightmares. Um, it lasted from start to finish when I started getting um, uh, people working here under my direction. Started in February, end of February 2021. And it ended pretty much September this year. So was uh, one and a half years of brutal work. When I say brutal work means working seven days a week, waking up around about six or seven, every day, seven days a week, no stop. And then uh, directed, well, hiring people, firing people, uh, buying material, getting people to, uh, to just, you know, rob me, rob me a good number of times. Um, uh, Robert, the time obviously because as soon as I wasn't here, some people just uh, didn't do anything. Um, yeah, um, but yes, it was 19 Clifford Road, FY1 to PU, which you, you can actually, uh, this is the asset, it's a hard asset, was a sort of derelict house to give you an idea. It didn't have any central heating, it was not habitable. They had major structural issues. I sorted everything out. All the structural issues resolved. Some of them I've done just myself, me, no, with no one else's help. Nobody, I didn't hire anyone. I just done myself. I mean, I've done a bit of a chimney breast. That's still, um, I just corrected the chimney breast. Uh, I've just documented it, and that alone. That alone was £8,000. Somebody quoted me £8,000 plus VAT just to do that job without making good of it. So it's huge, 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 huge job, which I've done a month. It took me, I think it took me a month to get it done from start to finish, but it wasn't even full time. It was not even full time. Look at this. It's incredible. Um, then I started, uh, yeah, I've done some other, uh, some other work to reinforce a wall that was actually fallen, almost. Then, uh, what is it? Let's see whether I can put this mobile phone in a better position because I can't really, I can't really bother. But, but I, mean, I just can't, I can't do it. Okay, there you are, there you are, hey. see, Okay, there you are. So then, I don't think it's even that good. Oh, I put it there. So, so this is what you do when uh, when you're not really ready for these things. But anyway, I have to make this video. Be, otherwise, I'll forget about it. Right, what I've done in twenty the accomplishments of twenty twenty one, so we can I can even look back later on. So September um, twenty twenty one, um, February end of February twenty twenty one, I managed to get two kick starts. A complete waste of time, by the way. And um, I bought the main gas boiler, which was there, doing nothing for two, one and a half years. Because I bought it, it was hung on the wall, but we didn't finish the installation for a number of reasons. Um, but I had to have it for also another number of reasons as well, because I needed to to get some uh, hot water when I just start this stripping everything out. So we started the refurbishment work. The this this house, which I'm actually in at the moment, um, was rented for four hundred pound a month, and it was rented for solo because it was not habitable. Once I'm finished now, their gross rental income is two thousand five hundred pound a month, in excess of that. So look at what you can do with um, if you've got the right knowledge and the right expertise and you work at it. Basically, I've increased it by five folds. 
that has become five times five the rental income um is if you've got the 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 right knowledge know how and you work really your butt off which i've done for one and a half years i don't even know how i managed um for so long no stop and i've done it on bridging finance so at the end now we've got um five bathrooms a beautiful kitchen is not clean at the moment and a huge rental income so that was finished in, in this year 2022 20, um, September so starting February uh, 2021 when I started hiring people I worked on it um, almost daily on my own only uh, before that um, so then um, it's been become has become habitable in September 2021. So the income from 400 became 2000 is now 2500 a month gross plus I managed to remortgage. I've got a mortgage for 110 almost on this, uh, this asset. And I left, I think approximately, I haven't done the, all the calculations, but roughly I reckon £60,000 of my own money in it. So at the current rental income, um, that is a payback. There's a region between two to three years. I'd say more three years than, is than two. I think we're talking about 33% return on investment. And yeah, it, it's not it's not the best. I did I didn't manage to get all my money out. I could have if I've um, I've applied for um, another type of loan, which is a commercial loan, which I did not. Commercial mortgage, I did not. I just applied for a normal uh, buy to let mortgage, which is a brick and mortar value, which has been valued brick and mortar a hundred and fifty thousand. Whereas if it were valued with it, uh, for is it's its income would be two hundred and not thousand pound. Um, at which value I could have been able to take most of my money out, if not all, because I I think two thousand five hundred, yeah, even a quarter of a million, and that. But so yeah, I could have taken more than my money back out, but I, I, I didn't do that. So that means that my passive income has increased by overall this year by fifty percent. I jumped by 50%, which is actually felt. I just feel it. So that's one. Um, then Arat Unlimited has increased. Um, I think I haven't done the, the, the calculations, so I haven't looked at the figures. But from £60,000 a year gross, I think we're talking about 80 to 90. This year, so it's been a growth of, um, well, what do you call it? Maybe well, 30, 40%. I don't know. Right, we'll, we'll look at it. Once the accounts are done, um, I've got new products and then um, yeah, the, the income in Araton only is just uh, it's just increased again. So everything is going up, and at the moment the plan uh, also have got another book on the way, which should be in place sometime next year. And then the plan for next year is quite ambitious. It's just very unreasonable. So which is. Acquire a, a big commercial building, which I should, once I'm finished with it, I should have a gross development value, a brick and mortar value, brick and mortar, I think, of at least 800,000. Brick and mortar, if we're talking about the commercial value, because I've got a building in mind, the commercial value would be in the region of uh, 1.6 million commercial value of the bill, based on rental income. Um, I've got a particular build, building in mind, but that is a big, big job. And it's a bit scary, but I think I have to take it on. I haven't bought it yet because um, uh, next year is uh, the, the year of bargains. So, uh, you know, you cannot miss a bargain, can you? Um, so I'm just I'm just there uh, waiting, assessing, but I'll have to strike because I've, I'm in a, in a cash and a liquid position at the moment. So that's one, then I should acquire at least 10 
lease options agreements. If I don't, if I get less than that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try that hard. But that is the target. It's quite, it's quite ambitious because it, it does seem quite hard to do. Uh, so I've got the book, the acquisition of the uh, commercial building, ten lease options, start the deal packaging. Just because I need, I need cash. If I, if I've got that commercial building, um, I don't want to be partnering with other people, but. If that's the case, I need cash. There you go. Um, suddenly, I don't have the whole, all the money to, 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 to do it all, all at once. I've got different uh, exit strategies for the building I've got in mind, but I, I'll work it out. But yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got these things on the pipeline. And if I, I try to, to hit as many targets as possible, but if I don't hit them all, at least I hit half, I should, uh, I'm just going to be. Uh, Quite quite well off, well off, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the situation. So there's been an increase of fifty percent of uh, the rental income, the passive income, and there's been an increase of uh, what forty percent of um, turnover of Arit Unlimited, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been a good year. Um, this year has been a good year because I've been working my butt off for now, I would say over two years straight. So it's been working pretty much almost every day, no holidays, not going anywhere, I've been in the UK pretty much all the time, not going abroad, nothing. All I do is just work, 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 work. But yeah, so that's uh, that's all for, for this and uh, I wish you a very happy new year from Andreas Russo.